Hello tout le monde, c'est Ednora22, j'espère que vous allez bien. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour Trumberbrook, un jeu développé par BTF GmbH et édité par Head Up Games. Installez-vous confortablement sur votre canapé, votre lit, votre chaise de bureau ou sur vos WC, peu importe, let's go Ce quatrième chapitre sera un peu plus long que les autres et est scindé en deux parties. La première concerne la découverte de nouveaux lieux et la deuxième amènera au cinquième et dernier chapitre. Pas mal de succès aussi pour cette partie de jeu. Petit ajout juste pour les succès trophées concernant les enregistrements et les journaux. Pour obtenir les succès trophées, il faut recueillir ces deux éléments en une seule session de gaming. Si vous quittez une partie pour recommencer, cela ne sera pas valable, le compteur se bloquera. Par chance, le jeu n'est pas très long et est réalisable en moins de 3 heures. Bon, accrochez-vous, on y va This is getting boring. We are all puppets on a string, Mr. Tenhauser. You are nothing but a pawn in my new narrative. Did we seriously... We did. Wait, there is another way? I don't have to answer that. What's it like on the other side? Different. Hard to describe. Just try. How does it feel? The transition, I mean. Hans, we have no time for that right now. Please, I need to know. Well, you can imagine it as a rift, a junction in space-time. Your mind enters a stage of near transcendence. There are no thoughts, no words, no sounds or visions, no sense of self. And suddenly, bam, you see a myriad of possibilities exploding right in front of you. Can you elaborate? I'm not an expert, but, well, I think it's coming from the neural network making up your consciousness. It temporarily disintegrates during the experience and then suddenly reintegrates. The real world, its outlines become somewhat twisted, warped. You may feel some sort of tranquility. Now that I think of it, yes, there's a certain peaceful quality to it. And a deep realization of cosmic quality when you see yourself reflected in the universe. It is an extraordinarily distinctive sensation. You have to try it sometime. Like, say, an insubstantial, incorporeal blackness? Somewhat energetic? Astronomical? The void? Exactly. How do you know that? I think I've seen it. Listen. I came to you because I see something in you. You are different. Please help me. Help me to get home. And help your people by stopping that woman. I don't think she knows of the dangers she's going to unleash. Your world is going to collapse. Everything will collapse. Just look. We need to stop her. But how? She's insane. We need to come up with a quantum discriminator somehow. I don't want to be here at all. Yet here you are. Sorry. I need to take a short rest. We could go to my room. That would actually be awesome. Um, if that's cool with you. Follow me. Okay, I went over your... It's pretty mind-boggling, but it could work. We need to improvise here and there. I found some scrap metal to roughly model a frame for the device. 
Let's get it started then. I'm afraid there are a few integral components that need to be swapped in though. Okay, what are we looking for? First, we need a source of energy. A very strong source. Second, a particle accelerator. That's going to be a tough nut to crack. Third, a potent coolant. The whole thing could blow up otherwise. Number four, last but not least, an interface to control the device. Any kind of peripheral will do. Okay, how do we begin? The order doesn't really matter. I'll go to the village. Maybe I can find some substitutes for the missing parts. Good, just bring them over. I'm sure I can patch them together somehow. Let's do this. Thank you, Hans. I'd already be dead if it wasn't for you. Oh, you. It wasn't that bad. You are awesome. I just wanted you to know that I'm eternally grateful to have met you. All things considered, dying may not be as bad as I always thought it might be. Don't you say that. Even if I don't make it, you need to stop her. Promise? I'm beginning my search right now. En discutant avec Lazare, nous allons débloquer deux succès en même temps, Dool Tramps et Mr. Universe. An empty jar. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. You don't look so good. Sorry I said that. No, it's cool, really. I get that a lot. Suivez bien mon cheminement. About the quantum discriminator. Yes? I totally lost track. What was it I was looking for again? Take a look at these plants, will you? We need a power source as strong as possible. If this was my dimension, I'd recommend using one of those handy 90,000 volt batteries. I'm afraid that's not an option. Whew. That's a lot of juice we're needing. We do need a particle accelerator as well. Has to be small enough to fit in there. A brown tube, maybe? From a TV set? Could work. I just had an idea. An interface to control the device. Get creative on that. A keyboard, buttons, any kind of interface. I understand. And a really potent coolant. It's going to burst if we can't keep the temperature low. What do you have in mind? Water won't do. Think of something. Okay, I'll be back soon. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. So you really are from another dimension, right? I was fleeing. I just stepped through the portal and crashed here. Fleeing? There were bad things happening back home. And as soon as I stumbled out of the portal, those really wicked scientists got hold of me. They sure loved their tests. You really don't want to mess with them. I think I met them too. I escaped, went undercover, and since then, tried to find a solution to finally get home. Which is where you come into play. This is so incredible. All my calculations, all my predictions. It's going to take years of studies to understand. I always thought parallel universes and different realities were a predictable possibility. But this... I don't even know where to begin. Don't worry, you know it in theory. How did you escape? Through the door, when they weren't watching. What were you fleeing from? In your dimension, I mean. Someone blew up our planet. I would rather not talk about it. How did you manage to hide all this time? I made a small fortune playing a card game they fancy here, Doppelkopf. With nines or without? Look at that. Depends. All a matter of perspective. That's not really what it's all about, though. The old trumps. I had never given the concept of money much of a thought before. I believed it was a rather crazy idea. But I certainly do know how to play. With that money, I went into hiding, slowly disintegrating, trying to find a way back home. Really? That's it? End of story? All that jazz, the money, the need to get back home? And you just went into hiding? Sort of. How are you holding up? 
Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Are there more of your kind? Here? No. Scattered across manifold dimensions? Probably. But there are certainly beings from other dimensions right around us. Right now. The cat, if you ask me. Ah, never mind. How are you holding up? Don't worry. Weren't you just about to elucidate the concept of interdimensional traveling to me? See, you humans define yourself as some kind of entity that exists inside this corporal shell. Kind of a consciousness that is somewhat attached to this bodily mass. Where it stems from and why it's there in the first place is totally abstract to you, right? And these two eyes of yours? They define the center of your cosmos, of your perception. Yet there is so much more. You humans need to understand that there's more to the perception of the universe. It's all there. You are just incapable of seeing it. Distant stars and galaxies, sea beams, the Big Bang. All these things you're missing out on. In order to gain a higher understanding of things, the fabric of the universe, to understand the very meaning of your existence, you need to overcome that self-centered view. You have to see the whole picture. Hans, if I could just open your eyes. You make it sound as if everything we did was wrong. Let me put it this way. You have not experienced common people until you have heard it in the original by William Shatner. Maintenant, nous allons nous attaquer au succès d'Old Trumps. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Il faudra poser dix fois la même question. With nines or without? Look at that. Without, of course. That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? With nines or without? Look at that. Without, of course. That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Second doll trumps the first? Look at that. Some say this, others say that. That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Second doll trumps the first? Look at that. Depends. All a matter of perspective. That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Single hand coming out? Look at that. Naturally. That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Single hand coming out? Look at that. Naturally. That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Single hand coming out? Look at that. Naturally. That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Single hand coming out? Look at that. Depends. All a matter of perspective. 
That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Second doll trumps the first? Look at that. Of course. That's not really what it's all about, though. Cool. How are you holding up? Can I ask you something personal? Yes? What were you fleeing from? In your dimension, I mean. Someone blew up our planet. I would rather not talk about it. Ah, never mind. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. So what do we do First, now? we have to construct a quantum discriminator. Second, save the world. Third, save Lazarus Taft. That's me. That's a ticket for the raffle. This must be my lucky day. Step right up! Every ticket's a winner, no blanks, guaranteed! Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trubelanke. See? I found a ticket. Now look at that. You're a lucky fella. Now let's see what fortune has in store for you. Are you ready? This is your prize. A can of... cat food. Generously provided by the Trüberbrook Advertisers Association. Oh my. Thanks, I guess. Well, enjoy! Baron? Mr. Tannhauser, good to see you. The pleasure is all mine. How is Claus doing? He is resting, my loyal Claus. I saw you at the raffle, right? Did you win anything? I won a pair of hiking boots. <sighs> Take a look at me. How am I supposed to wander anywhere? You, on the other hand, Mr. Tannhauser, you look like the type to be struck by wanderlust once in a while. Oh, auf dem gelben Wagen sitz ich beim Schwager vorn. Ja, ja, so war das. <laughs> what about you? Uh, did you have any luck with your ticket? I won this. Excuse me, is that uh, cat food by any chance? I am asking on behalf of Klaus. 
He loves cat food. Uh, would you mind making a trade? What do you have in mind? You leave this delicious can of cat food to Claus and me, and uh, in return, I give you this new pair of hiking boots, size 13. Uh, what do you think? Sounds like a perfect deal. So let's make it so. It will be to your benefit. Nous allons pouvoir utiliser la pièce que nous avons trouvée dans le deuxième chapitre et ainsi débloquer un nouveau succès. Un meteor crashed down on the other side of the lake. I noticed a marking on one of the rocks, a hexagon. It's the logo of the Millennium Cooperative. Beverly, I have made an astounding discovery. As it turns out, the town's only phone booth leads to some sort of secret passageway. It leads right into the Millennium Cooperative's control center. Tout comme les autres succès, il faudra utiliser toutes les options de dialogue pour obtenir le succès. Nice evening for a walk, isn't it? Eerie. There's something in the air. Can you smell it? Spruces. Spruces, firs, pines. I was always bad at telling conifers apart. Where spruces prickle, firs just tickle. Fur? That's Tana in German. Just like my name. Never thought about it. Why? What's your name? Tannhauser. We'd pronounce it Tannhauser with an umlaut. German roots? Yes, my grandpa. These things on the ground, we call them fur cones. As a matter of fact, though, they are actually spruce cones. Did you know that? What do you mean, actually? Well, fur cones come to pieces when they fall off the trees. Spruce cones stay intact. Some things. You have to see them. You're from around these parts? No, just visiting. Getting accustomed to it, I guess. Me neither. I come here for the beautiful view. Smoke? No thanks, I quit. The climate makes me feel a lot better, that's for sure. So what are you doing up here, all on your own? Fed up with all the hurly-burly down there? I just like traveling. Always on the road, hiking and all that. So you're taking a break? Oh, I lost my hiking boots. They just slipped over the railing. And now they're gone. If you ask me, we are really all in the same vast backyard. All this madness. Looking for some kind of meaning. Anything at all. Sounds a bit like you're going through a life crisis. Oh no. Quite the opposite is true. I gained insight. That's what I did. Insight. Exactly. That's it. What about the locals? Do you know them? Most of them. I am actually visiting this place every year. Why? You know a man called Lazarus Tuft? Yes, I do. Fascinating man. 
He absolutely crushed me at Doppelkopf once. No one knows for sure where he came from and what he is doing here. Legend says he bought the old mansion in the woods off of his Doppelkopf millions. He rarely ever visits town. Hardly surprising the way folks keep talking around here. Anyway, let them talk. That's my position. I saw you down there at the raffle. Yes, I tried my luck. Did you win? Just a snuff box. Such a letdown. I've sworn off the devil's dealings. You? I'm in possession of a pair of hiking boots. Didn't you say you lost yours? Yes, indeed. I'd exchange anything from my inventory for a new pair of hiking boots. Would you trade with me by chance? Your hiking boots in exchange for my snuff tobacco. Fair enough. Oh, thank you. How nice. And they are a perfect fit, too. I've got to go. Okay. Have a nice evening. Thanks again. You're welcome. Finally, I can make off again. I can hear the call of the wild. Farewell. Farewell. Nous allons nous attaquer désormais au succès concernant le marin. Arr, beautiful here, ain't it? Very. What's a sailor man doing out here in the sticks? Well, I don't like water that much. I'm just so happy to be here with both of my feet on dry land. But aren't those stereotypical sailor's clothes you were wearing? So? So you have a fear of water? I, Thalassophobia. It all started when I was a little boy, back home, on a sweet summer's day. I was swimming in the lake when my Uncle Ulf suddenly cannonballed in. I will always remember these two massive cheeks rapidly closing in. To be honest, it's still haunting me today. I nearly drowned back then. <clears throat> Later, I realized that was the day I developed this terrible, terrible fear of everything deeper than a puddle. If I may ask, why did you become a sailor man if you're so scared of water? I asked this myself many times. Well, my mother insisted that it would be best for me to face my fears. So naturally, I became a sailor man. This is so confusing. Walk a mile in my shoes. What happened to your leg? Well, that happened on my second job at the piano transportation company. I don't really want to go into details. Thanks to the mercy of a rueful instrument manufacturer, I got me this nice new leg. And due to a timely taken disability insurance, I now may enjoy a quite decent invalidity pension. Far away from the stormy sea. That's a nice story. Or is it a sad story? I can't decide. I saw you at the raffle, right? Did you win? Arr, just this voucher for a boat trip. Man, I hate water. Uh, you? I won this. Is that snuff tobacco? Oh man, I love snuff tobacco. Would you like to make a deal? What do you have in mind? Would you like to have the voucher in exchange? You know, the one for the boat trip on that lovely lake. That's what I got at the raffle tonight. That's from the local boat rental. Yes. D do you want it? Okay, let's make it so. All right. Deal. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I think I'm needed elsewhere. Take care! Beverly, my image of this innocent place has been tainted. I found a trash dump right in the middle of these woods, probably long established by the locals. The question arises, who would sink so low? too seaworthy. There's a leak in the bow, and the paddle wheel seems to be missing. The streetlight is flickering unsteadily. Typical case of light pollution. Sweetheart. Good evening. I won this voucher in the raffle. I know, I know. How can you know? Yeah, my sister told me. She's hosting the raffle booth tonight. Who would have thought? Hey, sweetheart. Good evening. About the paddle boat over there? It doesn't seem particularly seaworthy. Why? What's wrong with it? I think it has a leak. The paddle wheel isn't in good condition either, if you ask me. Oh my. You see, I'm afraid it's the last of its kind. Its friends are already lined up at the dry dock. Do you think you could help me fix it? I can't really leave my post right now. I'll have a look at it. Sorry about the pedal boat. You were really looking forward to this, right? To be honest, yeah, I was. I'm gonna write you a voucher for a whole weekend during the next season, okay? But I don't even know if I'll ever return. How much for the swimming animals? Oh, just pick one. The season is over and I have a gut feeling dinosaurs will be out of fashion next year anyway. My bet is on... Extraterrestrials. Maybe, yeah. Hmm. I'll be leaving then. Keep out. Packets and groceries delivery. Whistle two times, leave delivery on doormat, and exit the area. No advertisements.
These fruits are mine to pick up. This is private property, and you're obviously on my turf. This time, boy, you've chosen the wrong neighborhood. Forgive me, I didn't mean to disturb. <sighs> didn't you read the sign? Are you referring to the keep out sign, or the one that says no trespassing? <sighs> Very funny. You're one of them. I know. Confess. One of them? Oh no, not again. Okay, I'll tell you once and for all, I'm not an alien. I don't care what you believe. A what? An alien? <laughs> now you think you've been clever, don't you? No, sir. And just in case you want me to take part in any tests, let me tell you. You government guys are getting more and more annoying. Wait, government guys? I already told you guys last time. Not on my watch. Name and rank, soldier. You're with the uh, CIA, BND, HVA, FBI, NSA. Spit it out! Name's Tannhauser. I'm a quantum physicist on vacation. Liar! That's ridiculous! You better tell me the truth, or else... Say something! What's with all that garbage? Okay, I guess you're right. The quality of your lies doesn't imply a higher intelligence at work. Quite the opposite, in fact. So, what are you doing here anyway? The truth this time, the whole story! Well, it all began a few weeks ago, when I got this notification that said I won a trip to Europe. I was stunned, but Aunt Lottie gave her blessings. A prize like this should not be forfeited, she said. I might even be able to discover some distant relatives. Also, that I deserved a break. She only wished for me to return safe and sound. So, after a brief visit to Berlin, I began my journey. And that's how I ended up here. Interesting story. I mean, it's ridiculous, but I'm inclined to believe you. Now, about the part with the Millennium Cooperative. I always had the impression that something wasn't quite right with them. Well then, bye. Feel free to visit me anytime. We can go into all the details. Name's Lessing, by the way. Special Agent Hans Tannhauser. I'm with the FBI. <sighs> Very funny. What do you know about the Millennium Cooperative? I know they're a bunch of powerful people. A secret society, like the Freemasons or the uh, Illuminati. They are directing from the shadows, globally, playing governments like puppets on strings. They surely build something fishy up there in the mountains. I always knew it. Crikey. You must have been down the deepest depths of the rabbit hole. Of course I have. If you look at the ancient Sumerian and Babylonian writings, you will see a pattern emerge that... Ah! You hear that hum? Stop it! Make it stop! Stop, stop, stop! It's them! They try to slowly drive me insane with their atomic radiation. Ever heard the term Saturn portal? Of course. In theory, the Saturn portal describes a kind of interdimensional opening. A gate to the stars, like a crossroads or a junction in space-time. 
That sounds familiar. That sure sounds a lot like science fiction to me. Well, it's all arcane theoretical physics, blending modern science with occult magic. They are trying to establish a connection to the southern pole of Saturn using Birkeland currents. Birkeland currents, ever heard of that? They flow through the Earth's magnetosphere out into the cosmos in form of an electric plasma stream, a twisted helix, a conduit right up to Saturn to free the entities trapped in there. If you look at the northern pole of Saturn, you will recognize that shape, the hexagon. What's with your squirrel? That's Drowsy. He's me friend. Sleepy fella. So why are you living out here on your own? The government obviously believes that I'm a threat. So they declared me insane and put me in the sanitarium. Back in the days when it used to be a real sanitarium. Before the cooperative took over. When things went down the drain, I realized that people like me have no place in a society like this. People like me have to disappear. Go undercover. We have to resist until our day comes. I think I've heard enough. Nice talking to you. Feel free to visit me anytime. We can go into all the details. Rendez la canne à pêche à Trude si vous ne l'avez pas avec vous. N'oubliez pas qu'elle se trouve au pied de la jetée près de l'arrêt de bus. I wanted to return your fishing rod. Good. Did you get a bite? Kind of. There is a lot going on in this lake. I can tell you, professor. Just the other day, I caught a red herring this big. So, let me take a look for your pawned item. Ah, there you are. Here's your whistle. Whistle? Well, yes, your whistle. This is not my whistle. It's not your whistle? Of course this is your whistle, your whistle. <laughs> I'm sure I'd recognize this whistle, if it were my whistle. I left you something completely different. Right, mm-hmm. What was it then? My... Uh, massage rod. Your what? I don't have no massage rod in here. As I said, here is your whistle, Mr. Tenhauser. 
Hmm. Thanks. This should fix the leak. This should suffice for a paddle wheel. Thank you. Don't worry about it. No, 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 I insist. Please take this as a symbol of my appreciation. This postcard will help me find my way around. Uh, thanks. surrounding Trubberbrook emanate a dreary sense of blandness, I've rarely ever been engulfed in a more terrifying, dreadful environment. Not to mention there is a green glow spreading through the Fenwoods. Interesting. Beverly? I now stand right in front of the legendary Trubberbrook specimen. This close, I find it all the less surprising people here have cultivated the myth of a sea monster. Beverly, I took a paddle boat and ventured forth towards the final frontier of this region a forlorn swamp of ancient origin. On my way, I came across the mortal shell of a lost wanderer. Whether he was led astray by a wisp or fell victim to this region's mythical beast, the Hook Elf, remains a mystery to be disentangled. I can only hope to be spared of such misfortune. They did their job, or did they? Let's see if he had anything on him. Only if it helps to clear his identity, of course. An old rusty key. Ahoy. So, Professor, did you take a look-see around the area? You could definitely say so. I would like to ask you something. Oh yes, of course. What can you tell me about your brother? He's a drunkard. He's also not the most reliable type of person, if that counts as a feat. 
As you see, he's just left me here alone with all this work that needs to be done. Can you give me a description? Should you run into him? Is that why you are asking? Tall grown, beardy type, red nose, always wearing those yellow rubber boots. Why do you want to know? I think I may have met him. I found his mortal remains out there in the mire. I'm sorry. Uh, are you sure? My condolences. Oh, Heinz. Poor old Heinz. Rest in peace. Can't say I'm really surprised. Thank you very much. I will inform the inspector immediately. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. Perfect fit. Beverly, I have unearthed the gate to a sealed crypt, the cellar of this lodge. My descent begins. This is what Professor Lidenbrock must have felt when he climbed down the Snifels, Eugle. I can hardly see a thing. Light the way, my friends. Malt? Trubberbrook's finest dry yeast. to synthesize alcohol with this. It's a recipe for Bolzenschuss schnapps. Top secret. Let's see. Fruit, add malt, add yeast, season with a pinch of slumber morale. Dead simple. I can probably walk on water with this.
It is a well-known fact that some mushrooms are held in high regard all over the world for their hallucinogenic effects. As a means of cleansing, to gain insight either metaphysically or mystically, or to make contact with the gods, even the cosmos itself. Triberbrook seems to be no exception, where people have been secretly worshipping the slumber morale for centuries. I can hardly see a thing. Light the way, my friends. Fire making first. Truda? Hello, Professor. I would like to ask you something. Oh, yes, of course. Got a light? Sure thing. Here you go. Ah, never mind. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. I can hardly see a thing. Light the way, my friends. This looks promising.
only one more ingredient. Yikes! I'm going to take a sample. For science. Whoa, that is some mean spirit. Alcohol? Never again. Wasn't I carrying some cool gadgets in my pockets earlier? What the? Wow. God bless, what's this? Did you ever see the likes of it? What's going on? Where are you heading? No time to lose. Don't you see the cold front? I have to go to the weather station. There's a weather station here? <laughs> well, yes. Don't be silly. What was that? There is no bad weather, only the wrong clothes. I wholeheartedly have to agree with this saying, Beverly. I am standing on top of the Klumpen, apparently the highest elevation within the surrounding low mountain range. If you wanted to, you could describe the clothes that I'm wearing as perfectly unfit for the current weather conditions. After a short walk, I have reached the local weather station. Hello? Good morning. I didn't see you at all. Uh, please excuse the frosty welcome. Madonna Lücke. I'm with the Meteorological Society. Tannhauser. My pleasure. So what are you doing here? I'm observing the weather. So anything interesting about the weather? Mm, well, actually I'm in Trüberbrook because the weather here is so inconspicuous. Quite your statistical average weather, if you will. But this afternoon, I was thunderstruck. The ordinariness has disappeared. And now the ice is cracking under your feet? Exactly. And I'm in a haze how that's even possible. It's dawning on me what you're trying to say. Ah, I see, I see. You're slowly falling, huh? So what's the weather up to these days? Just look. The weather's gone completely mad. I just can't make any sense of it. How did that go again? When thunder in September rumbles? The farmer silent curses mumbles? Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Okay, what about um, September winds, believe me now? can spoil the finest Beaujolais Nouveau. No, 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 come on. You seem a bit clouded. For how long have you been out here? In Trüberbrook, you mean? The project is running for six months now. I'll be leaving then. Of course.
pardon me, is that helium in your tank by any chance? Exactly. To fill the weather balloons. In Trevorbrook, up on the Klumpen top, the art of meteorology is in full swing. The current microclimatic developments in this area seem to have sparked scientific interest. Frozen stuck. Hello? Good morning. I don't want to rain on your parade, but could I sponge some helium off of you? Well, helium is extremely valuable, especially up here. What exactly are you up to? I want to use it as a coolant. As a coolant? That would not work at all. You would need to lower its temperature until it becomes liquid. I think it'll work out all right. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. After all, I am a physicist. So, could you spare some of your gaseous helium? I can provide you with some of my helium if you do me a favor in return. Would you mind venturing down to the village and send a telegram to the headquarters? I can't leave here right now, by no means. No one is going to believe me, ever! I'm sitting here, year after year, nothing happens. And then, suddenly, there's a flash. Aurora Borealis in Trüberbrook. In the name of academic merits, I have to help you. Oh, thank you so much. The guest house down in the village has a telegraph. Attention, il est très important de faire une capture d'écran ou bien de prendre en photo la liste de ses numéros pour la simple et bonne raison que Hans ne prend pas ce morceau de papier avec lui dans son inventaire. Donc faites bien attention, trouvez un moyen de mémoriser tout cela. I'll try to remember. Oh, thanks a bunch, Mr. Uh... Tannhauser. Mr. Tannhauser, thank you. The meteor must have crashed somewhere around here. Oh, I'm not feeling too well. Look who we've got here. I see you're making good use of those boots. These boots are made for walking. Thanks again. My pleasure. You're looking a bit pale, if I may say so. Here, have one of these. They always work for me. Vitamin pills? Si, claro. They get the juices flowing and make you look gorgeous. All based on herbal essences. Thanks. Uh... I have to be going. See you later.
Step right up! Step right up! Wanna put your bronze to the test? Why not? Wow, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think we have a new champion. Congratulations. Here, this is your prize. A leaden trophy. Like a trophy made out of lead. This one's a real beauty. Thanks. Let's get down to business. A space rock from outer space. Come on, be a good boy. Perfect. An important component of the quantum discriminator. Hello, Professor. I'd like to dispatch a telegram on behalf of the meteorologist on the mountaintop to the Meteorologic Society. Oh, yes, of course. Shoot. Um, well. Sur la photo du télégramme pris en photo auparavant, vous voyez des tâches. Il va falloir les combler afin que le numéro soit logique avec le début et la fin déjà inscrits. Par exemple, mon début de numéro commence par 07, tâche et 4. Donc, vente est cachée sous la tâche. 0, 7, 2, 0, 4. Continue ainsi et ainsi de suite jusqu'à la fin du télégramme. 1, 0, 4, 3, 3. Two, six, zero, eight. Four, zero, zero, one, eight. One, eight, one, zero, nine. Zero, 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 three, zero. Zero four one zero three. Oh, that didn't take long for an answer. Pfft. 
Let me read it to you. Data inconclusive. Stop. Please verify all data. Stop. Sensational. Stop. Thank you, Truda. I will deliver the message at once. Hello? Good morning. Here's the answer from the headquarters. Data inconclusive. Stop. Please verify all the data. Stop. Sensation? Stop. A sensation? Did you hear that? That is quite a sensation. Just one more thing, and you can have as much helium as you want. Here. Grab the screwdriver, check on my stations. There are three of them, and get me the measurings. Please, I can't leave, by no means. Where are these stations of yours? Well, there's one by the lake, another one in the village, near the lookout, and the third is far out in the swamps. All right. Oh, thanks a bunch, Mr... Uh... Tannhauser. Mr. Tannhauser, thank you. I bet she doesn't come out here on a regular basis. Let's see. Wind direction, wind speed, precipitation, temperature, hmm. air pressure, relative humidity, hmm. Two more weather stations to check on. Ahoy. Let's see. Wind direction, wind speed, precipitation, temperature, hmm. air pressure, relative humidity, hmm. Hygrometers aren't supposed to be so close to open waters. Only one weather station left to check on. Let's see. Wind direction, wind speed, precipitation. It's pretty windy up here. Temperature? Hmm. Air pressure? Relative humidity? Hmm. Got it. That's all I need. Thank you. 
Hello? Good morning. I think I've got your measurings. Oh, that's incredible. Can you smell the Nobel Prize? I've got to take a closer look. But... Ah, oh, yes! Keep the helium! Take as much as you want! Now it's filled with gas. Perfect. Another component for the quantum discriminator. Great idea. That's it. That's a good start, isn't it? Three pieces left. Right, another pinch of calcium? I'll have a cone of roasted almonds, please. A cone of roasted almonds, right away. There you are, sir. Nous allons dès à présent faire le succès consistant à appeler à six endroits différents les corbeaux à l'aide de votre sifflet. Beverly, it is widely known that corvidae are quite sociable and intelligent beings. I recently became acquainted with no less than a swarm of these impressive singing birds. Sometimes, I wish I could be like them. If I could just fly south with them, I wonder if they would accept me as one of their own.
Their collective weight is almost breaking the antenna. Over here, little birdies. Whoops, I must have overfed them. Get lost, you wet blankets. Perfect. Another component for the quantum discriminator. This one is on you, boys. Oh, exactly what I need. Thanks. Enjoy the show. Ici, vous pourrez obtenir deux succès, un consistant à tirer des feux d'artifice pendant le concert et l'autre d'assister au concert dans son intégralité. End of the world or not, I can't miss this gig. Pour obtenir le succès concernant le concert, il vous faut vraiment rester sur place pendant tout le concert et surtout ne pas appuyer sur pause. Pour tirer les 100 feux d'artifice, rien de plus simple, appuyez sur A ou B ou X ou Y pendant le concert.
Le concert durant 5 bonnes minutes, je vous fais grâce de tout ça. On se retrouve tout de suite à la fin de cette séquence musicale. They won't be needing this anymore. Perfect. That's the last component of the quantum discriminator. Thanks. Perfect. We are halfway through. Only two pieces and counting. Core temperature at 15 million degrees Fahrenheit. Check. That should work. Neat. Almost there. One piece to go. Synchronized tachyon impulses. Uh -huh, yes. Check. I'll try with this one. That's it. Hans, we got it. The quantum discriminator. Projectory matrix check. Ha! It's working. Sur ce, je vous laisse. N'hésitez pas à vous abonner à ma chaîne YouTube, à mettre un pouce vers le haut sur la vidéo ou à commenter. Je réponds très volontiers à vos questions. Rejoignez-moi sur Twitch. Je suis aussi sur Twitter si jamais. On se retrouve très bientôt pour la suite du jeu. D'ici là, portez-vous bien. À la prochaine. Ciao.